Hey everyone, Alexander Mathias here from saxophonemasterclass.com. In today's lesson, I'm going to take you through the notes of jingle bells on the alto saxophone. Now I'm going to be showing you on the alto, but of course you can play this on any saxophone, whether you play tenor, alto, baritone, or soprano. So if you play any of those saxophones, you can still follow along to this lesson. Now I'm going to take you through all the notes one by one, but if you want the fingerings and the sheet music for jingle bells, you can actually get it for free at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash jingle bells. So check that out, there's a link in the description and you can download that for free right now. If you're a saxophone player, please give this video a like and let me know in the comment section how long you've been playing and what your biggest challenge is on the saxophone. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more free lessons like this, please subscribe to my channel. I put out lessons every single week. Also, if you want to get more holiday songs, I have a ton more lessons inside my website, saxophonemasterclass.com, where I have over 300 videos of lessons on how to play the saxophone, as well as dozens of tutorials on how to play different songs on the saxophone too. So check it out, go to saxophonemasterclass.com or click the link in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get straight into it. We're going to be playing in the key of G, so we're going to be using the notes of G major. That's G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. So make sure you practice your G major scale. If you don't know your G major scale, I do have a video that takes you through every fingering on that. And there's a link in the description of this video to that as well. Okay, so let's get started. So that's the song in its entirety. Now I'm going to take you through each phrase one by one. So we actually start the song on the lowest note, which is that D without the octave key. Three fingers in the left, three fingers in the right. Then we move up to B, down to A, G, and then back to D again. Now we do the same thing, except we land on E. So we start on D. So they're the same notes as before, but this time we go down to E. So that first phrase sounds like this. So that's the first phrase of Jingle Bells. Now we're going to move on to the second phrase. So the second phrase starts on E, which is three fingers on the left, two fingers on the right. Then we go up to C, down to B, then A, and then F sharp. Then we go up to D with the octave key, play that twice. We separate those notes with tonguing. Then we go down to C, a, and then up to B. So the entirety of that second phrase sounds like this. So the first two phrases together sound like this. So hopefully you're able to get those first two phrases. Keep working on these first two phrases because they're actually going to be similar to the next two phrases. So now we're going to move on to the third phrase, which is actually identical to the first phrase. So we're just repeating that first phrase of the song in the exact same way for that third phrase. 
Now, even the fourth phrase is similar to the second phrase of the song. So the first part of the fourth phrase is identical to the first part of the second phrase. Let me play those notes. So we start on E, just like the second phrase, then C, B, and A. But this time we go up to D with the octave key instead of down to F sharp. And we play D four times. And we separate them with tonguey. So the first part of that phrase is Then the last part of that phrase goes up to E, then D, C, A, G, and then finally D with the octave key. So So that last part of the fourth phrase is So the entire fourth phrase sounds like this. So that's the fourth phrase of the A section of Jingle Bells. After this, we move into the B section. So before I show you the notes of the B section, let me play you the A section in its entirety. So that's the full A section. Now we're gonna go on to the B section. So the B section starts on the note B, which is just that single finger in the left hand. So that first part of the phrase is just playing those rhythms playing on B. So we separate each of those rhythms by tonguing the note. So go short, short, long, short, short, long. After that, we move to the second part of the phrase. We go B to D with the octave key, down to G, then up to A, and then B. So remember to tongue each of the notes, especially while you're playing this phrase, because it's going to make it a lot easier to play when you're going from that D with the octave key down to the G. So let me play you the first phrase in its entirety of this B section. So that's the first phrase of the B section. The second phrase of the B section sounds like this. So here we're playing that C note, and again, we're separating the rhythms by tonguing each note. We play C five times before we move down to B. And we play B five times again, but we play two of the notes quicker. So we go. So long, long, short, short, long. So the first couple of bars sound like this. And then we move on to A, and we play A twice. Then we go up to B, and then down to A again before going up to D. So the whole phrase sounds like this. So that's the second phrase of the B section in Jingle Bells. Now we go to the third phrase, which is identical to the first phrase of the B section. Let me play it for you. So that's the same notes, the same rhythms, everything. It's exactly the same as the first phrase of the B section in Jingle Bells. Now we're on to the final phrase of the whole song, and this sounds, again, just like the second phrase of the B section. So we start on C, and we play C multiple times, like this. 
So we're playing C five times, then we're going to B again, and we're playing that four times. So it's long, long, short, short. So that first part of the phrase sounds like this. So again, that's identical to the second phrase of that B section. Then we go up to D, we play D twice, down to C, then A, and then finally G. So that last phrase sounds like this. So that's Jingle Bells on the alto saxophone. Again, you can play this on any saxophone, whether you play tenor, baritone, or soprano as well. If you want to get more lessons like this and more step-by-step -step tutorials, my website, saxophonemasterclass.com, contains over 300 lessons on tone, technique, improvisation, scales, and how to embellish melodies as well. I also have step-by-step -step lessons for other songs that takes you through the entire process, just like I did in this video. I have the sheet music, but if you don't know how to read sheet music, I also write out all the note names as well. So check it out, just go to saxophonemasterclass.com. All right, everyone, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press that notification bell too, so you know every single time I upload a new video. Until next week, happy playing.